separates the casual Jane Austen fan. Oh, Janie, it's gotten so much worse. From the aficionado. The number of times she's read Austen's novels, or her consuming love for Mr. Darcy. This is the best part. Unbelievable. She finds her way here to the world's only immersive Austin experience. Doing a comedy uh, and doing one in the, the beautiful English countryside when you are an Anglophile like me who obsesses over Jane Austen, I mean, that was, that was pretty great in and of itself. You're going to the Darcy place too? Yes. I memorized the first three chapters of Pride and Prejudice when I was 13. <laughs> What's that? But I do like producing. It's very different from writing. Writing is a very solitary thing you do in a quiet room without anyone else around, and producing is something you do in a room full of people shouting half the time. Um, so there's a lot more collaboration, a lot more socialization. Uh, it's just a different kind of creative outlet, and so I enjoy that. But it doesn't it doesn't replace writing. It's just kind of a different a different thing altogether. She was born, not bitten. She grows every single day. Oh my. Twilight books? I'm not really planning on it. I mean, it's possible. But that just became a very crowded headspace for me. And, and the spending so much time in the movies while really rewarding in some ways um, completely burned me out on that whole world. Um, it's just not the same place it used to be. I, I like to write when I can be in a, a world where it's kind of just me and the, and the story. And, and Twilight's much more crowded than that now. What is it, Alice? The Volturi. They're coming for us. I have promised that before I die, <laughs> I'll just give a like really bare plot points of what would have happened. Because I know what would have happened, it's just not something I want to write. <laughs> to a lot of people, it doesn't matter what I do next, I'll always be the Twilight person. And that's something I've accepted a while ago. Really, I can't worry how other people view me because, you know, there's too many different ways that, that people view me. A lot of them are really negative. And so I just have to focus on, you know, what things I'm passionate about and things I enjoy. And I don't really worry what that does to my reputation, you know, it, producing a, a small movie. You know, it's something that I, I want to do that, that I find uh, rewarding. And so I, I am more concerned about that than I am about what, how that it might, what my image is. <laughs> oh, I just can't imagine why you're still single. Don't say a ring on your finger. No, bleep. No, 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 it's all right. I, I asked for it. I am single because apparently the only good men are fictional. <laughs>